what do you guys do for fun? Maybe hang out with friends, play children's card games, shiny hunt for pocket monsters. Me? I like to play action platformer games on the Nintendo Entertainment System that are so difficult they make you want to gouge your eyes out with Joy-Cons. And Joy-Cons were a thing that didn't exist the last time uh, I played and beat, and when I be first beat the prequel to the game we're playing now, which was around uh, mid-November of 2011. Today we begin our journey to Battle Kid 2, Mountain of Torment. Um, I expected to live up to the name. Let's turn on the Super, or let's, it's not the Super NES, but it's going to be super hard. We're going to turn on the NES right now. We are playing on a legitimate NES. This is the first time the game has been turned on, Civic Games. And the last adventure. Oh my word. Oh, epic cutscene. That's the super mech. That's Timmy right there. Look, he's cracked. Shoot him. Boom. Mmm. We defeated the super mech. That's right. After uncovering a plot to build a super mech, a powerful robotic weapon, Timmy, that's the name of the, of the main character if you didn't know, uh, had ventured through the perilous fortress of Il Kab and after many difficult battles had finally reached and destroyed the super mech and so we did we got the good ending too because we found key four that's right however the individuals behind the construction managed to escape from the fortress even on the good end they did all but one that is this is the art style is completely different by the way <laughs> uh after the battle timmy had barely caught up with them and prevented the member chester donovan from boarding the transport ship the others escaped on. I think in the bad ending, he also gets away. Smugly, Donovan alluded to a contingency plan, but would not say anything else. And of course, we're, we're the good guys, so we can't do... Oh. I was gonna say we, we can't do, like, truth serum and torture stuff. Uh, Timmy took him back to the dish court, where his friend Dr. Tina Byers used a special truth serum to try and learn the group's plans. Uh, after much resistance and being slowly driven to madness, Donovan eventually talked... I guess we're not exactly lawful good over here after all, are we? Um... Well, you know what? Who, you know what? Actually, would have been a better way than truth serum to get Donovan to spill the beans. Make him keep playing the first game over and over again. That's right. That's right. Uh, version 1.000. That means this game was came out. It was flawless. No, but actually, that actually just means that I bought the game when it first came out. So, <laughs> uh, literally the day it went up for order. Uh, this one I bought. This is like a remix to the original title theme, I believe. Um, here we go. Com yeah, compiled June 28, 2012. And today, uh, as we're playing this, it is uh, February 18th, actually. This video is going to go up a little bit later uh, in the week, 2018. Um, so this is the X month. You guys can count how many months exactly to the date. Uh, it's been since November 18th. Uh, it was actually, that was my birthday. Uh, when we beat, or at least when we uploaded, uh, the beating of Battle Kid 1, the first defeat of the Super Mech. We're gonna press start. Now, there's no options in this game. You don't get options. All, you just have yourself and your controller, and that's it. Password. Now, at a point in the future, I kind of want to try out the most infamous password. Can you go back, actually? Okay, select to cancel. Now, if you guys didn't know, the most infamous password in Battle Kid is the password that we received after the uh, conclusion of Battle Kid the movie, which is 94 Wolfcast. However, as you can see, there are two extra spots for the, the password. So. 94 Wolfcast is not, in fact, a secret password right here. That means we're going to start a new game. Let's get into it. Okay. Um, now, I had heard that in this game, the easy mode, you actually could take more than one hit. It was possible. Um, so that's a thing. Um, let's see what our difficulties are. We have easy mode where you can get hit three times. That's for babies. There's, I guess maybe there's no damage amp in this in this game. Um, so we don't want that. We're going to start with pink Timmy. I don't want that. Um, normal mode, probably what we're going to be playing on. Um, as you can see, uh, hard and very hard. You have no passwords because you have limited you know, deaths allowed. And then, of course, unfair. Uh, you have to pause the game. You have to have to. So we're gonna play on normal because we're LPing this, and I'm gonna, not gonna be able to beat it one day. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, maybe in like future streams we could do hard, but no, we're doing normal. 
That way we can get our beautiful passwords. Let's get started. So we're here in Dishcorp, in the heart of G1 City. Oh, look at this. There's that you can actually like scroll, like and hit to advance the text. Man, if you go and guys go back and look at how Timmy looked in the original game, man, Timmy, uh, Timmy got some shonen upgrades or something. He looks, uh, he looks a lot, lot better here. We got something to report. I'm pretty sure he like his hair grew longer too. It's like down, you know, at his shoulders. So I don't know. Maybe it was always like that. I got the actual the original box art right here. Um. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't quite like that. I wonder if that's just like a, a conscientious thing. There's a Battle Kid 3, we're gonna have like a different art style. Uh, so there's an alarm trigger in the warehouse complex. Has to be part of the follow-up plan. Mmm. Let's get over there. Communica communication unit. Alright, good. Oh, I don't believe the first game actually had a use for the select button. So select while the game is paused. Energy cells, huh? Alright, so <laughs> I like how there's now a life bar. You see, you guys see at the top left? Do we actually have like a legitimate map? Uh, I am, however, pleased to see the, uh, the sprites are not updated, so that's good. Um, okay. Grip ignores A. Oh, man. Look at- there it is. There's the death count. You guys see the death count? Uh, view map, view objective. Oh, man. This is some crazy stuff. Alright. So we're here in a warehouse. Nothing kills us so far. These guys look like- okay, I'm gonna take one hit to kill, good. Alright, we're gonna try not die too quickly. We are old pros in Battle Kid, there's a bouncy ball. Just gonna do that to make sure we don't get killed by him. Uh oh, okay. Oh dear. Okay. We got it's a safe safe right here though. You always gotta know in this game where's where's a safe place. Okay, this is this actually stops. One thing that I've been waiting a really long time to see is uh, how many screens in this game can you solve by just bum rushing? Because that was the solution to a lot of screens in the first game. Oh my, okay, that's this guy. Okay, he's different from the one in Battle Kid 1, though, where he sp spits out three. Can we shoot the walls? Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, we are safe here. Need to kill him. Right. Razor drone. He's moving fast. Though. He's a fast boy. Uh, okay, is that a is that a save point room? Yeah. Okay. And there's this is probably the best upgrade so far. Oh, okay, it shows you your password when you mark your continue point. That's good to see. And of course we have video footage, so we'll be able to see. I feel like. Hold on. Uh, no, this is correct. I feel like I was thinking the. Um, like I can, I can expand the, the, the thing, the, the, whatever. Anyway, um, like I could make the screen bigger because of editing stuff. Uh, but anyway, it looks like not. Okay, so we got a continue point here. And most importantly, we are not hearing the... The terrible continue point music. <laughs> uh, first boss already? Oh my word, who is this? Oh, this is the... the this is the... What was the name? Helga? We found out from the manual. Oh my word, and then we're dead. Alright. Alright, this is gonna alright. This is the first the first time that we actually have something that might kill us. As we know, the most dangerous attacks in the game are always moving <laughs> to the other side of the screen. Changing color, so at least she's not like Cleo. Alright. 
can't fight all of them. <laughs> that means she was uh, holding back. Don't need to run if you got somebody to pick you up. What in the world? I can't tell if those are names or just like she's saying something. The next morning. Ch <laughs> is, is that what we're calling Chester now? Is Chetty? Chetty's been chatty? Developing a mega cannon. Not just a super mech, a mega cannon. Oh my goodness. Shamik. Hmm. So we're going to the Shomeo Mountains. A desolate place and very likely to be what he meant. Alright, so we have Helga Crafty. This is our first boss of the game. Pretty easy boss, but you know, just to say, hey, you know, you're gonna get killed in one hit. Um And this is Ivan Mikanovich. Already makes me think he's gonna turn into some sort of a cyborg for the final boss or something like that. It's very well. I guess he's very talented at making machines and won't fight. Okay, like, if I just read the rest of the text, I would probably tell him what it's gonna be. Okay, but the question is, will he turn himself into a machine? Mm. So. I guess then the were these two then the ones who got away because I remember because Chester had like the crazy hair there was one other one and then I remember there was one guy who was like fat so I, I had to go back and watch uh, the last few episodes of Battle Kid 1 to for sure see man that, that Timmy sprite looks gorgeous I just want to say Dr. B's looking good too oh I'm ready <laughs> I'm so I'm way past ready. After fl after flying world team reached the show mail mountain zone. Oh my goodness, I am so ready. I've been I've been ready for actually not like that long, but I've been I've been anxious to get started. I'm gonna turn the volume up for like six years. And here we go again. <laughs> nice. All right. So we can view map. Makes sense. Okay, so no. So maybe you have to. You probably have to find a map. Objective. Not much to report now. I'll just head into the base. Okay. I believe in the first game you had to like get to like terminals. To um. To do that. And I'm gonna have to see if this. Uh, this is... Okay. We're gonna. Okay. So I saw. Oh, the grip. Hold on. You know what this means. Now, back in the days. You needed to read the manual. You guys can't see, but I'm, I just pulled up the manual. There are, in fact, going to be, I think, more things that you got to do. Controls during gameplay. Left, right, move. A, jump. B, fire. Up. If you have feather fall, hold to fall slower. Also used to interact with objects such as continue points or teleporters. Okay, we do that. Uh, if you have the wall grip upgrade, you can hold down and press A to let go of a wall without jumping wall grip to the wall. Okay. Hmm. But I don't know if we have that upgrade. So I don't know if we have that. Hmm. But it looks like we have to climb this wall. Uh, the item pickup say allows you to clean a certain wall. You must be in the air to do this. While you're on a wall, you cannot move, but you can still shoot in the direction you're facing to let go of the wall. You can either jump or you can hold down A to let go without jumping. Okay. So, in that case, then, where do we go? Hmm. Because we don't have the wall grip upgrade. Is there a secret entrance? Hmm. Gotta go to the left, maybe? Yeah, we gotta go to the left. Okay. Alright, here's, of course, our handy dandy coordinate display shown in the top right. <laughs> Couldn't fit that on one line. Alright, let's go right first. 
Ah, okay, so teleport. Teleport to nowhere right now. It's the teleport to A, right? Okay, here's a save point. You see our password right there. Good thing there's a handy dandy you know, dialogue box at the top of the screen. Right here, some guys are gonna blow up. We don't have to actually have to blow up at all, but we are. First time seeing spikes in the game, I think. Oh my goodness, these things. Not too bad though. Uh, let's, let's go to the right. No, we're not. We need key one to get through there. So same same thing with the needing keys, I guess. Uh, oh, and I guess the TP at the top there is uh, for which teleporters you've activated. All right, so far so good. All right, I guys. I'm just gonna kind of take it safe and easy on them. After they shoot, we're gonna shoot them like once or twice, just. Okay, one more volley, I think. We'll do it. Yep. Short hop. Oh, my slow moving balls. We're gonna get past oh no. I didn't, didn't even hear the full uh, <laughs> the full death sound. Oh well. Um, we can probably just. Yeah, bum rush this guy. I don't want to bum rush too much on the spikes though. Hold up. Okay. Uh, so that was that. You know, keys to go through there. So you guys can also see now that we're using, you know, not the webcam or not the, or the camcorder. There's none of this crazy, craziness in the, uh, mm, with the flickering of the screen when the screen goes black. So that's probably helpful. Okay. Okay. We can we we can totally get two shots. If I would just stop being really bad at jumping and shooting, which is you know, two of the major skills you need to play this game. This guy though. Okay, that worked. Oh my, these guys are. Hmm, they're spooking me. They're spooking me. Alright, got it. Just had to wait for them to get over to the other side on their pattern. Whoops. And go, Timmy, go! Yes! Alright. Uh, another continue point, nice. Only one death on that section so far. Think, right? Yeah, only two deaths, one to Helga in the first. So multi-directional stuff, but uh, this is a safe point right here. Right, good. Oh my goodness, they're going way too fast. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh no, that was not safe. That was not safe. That's not safe. And it's really tough to tell where those uh, cannons are. All right. Um, we're gonna have to drop by this ball. Got the timer right. Nope. Oh, okay. I, that I should I should not have made that. And all honesty. Okay, this is safe. All right. Wait for the fire again and go. All right, good. Oh my. Okay, we can kill these guys first. Get rid of those obstacles. Uh, none of this is safe past here. The good thing is those guys stop. Um, the guys in the first game did not stop before they shot, which made them uh, a little bit trickier to get past. All right, these blocks I know are gonna crack disappear but we're good oh my goodness. <laughs> okay single shot all right mm-hmm holy crap double eye guys oh man okay we can just run past them though Ugh. trying to jump over him okay. we're probably close to continue point there too oh that was close very close Super fast blade drones. That's not safe. <laughs> I'm gonna continue. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> I, I, knew, I knew I was dead. I could not. My mind said, "Let go of the button," and then I didn't let go of the button. So. Okay. Uh, but that screen with the where you gotta fall down with the ball, you can actually just kind of. Okay, don't quite do that. Um, you can. Not actually bum rush it, but you, you can semi bum rush it. Yeah, as soon as it, hold on. Okay, that's safe. Alright, not so bad, not so bad. Right, this screen's not too bad because of the uh, the difference in the, the pattern of these guys compared to the first game. The screen's not too bad. Screen's pretty easy, to be honest. And 
it should be. It's one of the first screens of the game. Uh, this is not gonna be too bad, I don't think. Okay. Oh, yeah, if you try to bum rush that, you're gonna run right into that guy, right? Pretty much. Um, let's see. They're in the middle. If you can graze it right in the middle, it's safe. I don't think I held down A enough on that jump was the problem. I almost had it. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to stop for our first episode, but uh, I am going to be trying to keep these to about 25 minute parts, so we got a little bit more to go. Hold on. Okay. As soon as he bounces against the, the left side, I think it's a good time to go there. Okay. At least you guys. Yeah, the changes to these drones right here are makes them much easier in my opinion. Way easier. Than having to stop before they fire. Okay. Right, not so bad, not so bad. <laughs> this screen. Because all three of them move at different speeds. I'm pretty- yeah, you have to be able to get up and make that jump, right? You have to be able to. There's like no way you are unable to make that jump. Okay, I think it's just a bum rush. It's not quite a bum rush screen, but it's almost a bum rush screen. You have like a moments of hesitation. Okay, so we need key number one. So are we like mapping a map as we go? No, we're not. Okay, so. So you don't like auto map. Um, okay. Kill those guys, and it's gonna be safer to kill this blob. This ball. Oh my goodness! Okay, kill this guy before he becomes a problem. Oh, hold up! They don't die in one hit. <sighs> that is very much reminiscent. Death password. What is death password? Is it <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little. I'm not sure what to think of there being a death password. Okay. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll accept it. Apparently I just barely clipped him. Okay. okay, so I want to try to kill this guy as fast as possible. So these guys are, like, homing in on you then. Go past this guy. Uh, I half expected there to be something spawning from this black mass right here. Okay, some more of these cannons, and I don't. I think I'm about to short hop through there. This guy's just got a continuous uh, stream of fire. Okay, I'm, I'm like trying to analyze the room. Okay. Alright, I'm thinking. Crap. <laughs> Uh, I'm thinking... No! Get up there, Timmy. I think I'll try to play this safe. Mm. There's definitely a way to do this faster, but I'm just gonna play it safe right now. Next hitch, I think we'll do it. I don't think we have too much life. Alright. I think it's four hits. I think it's four hits. We get out here. Alright, not bad. Oh, am I these guys do spread shots? Okay. Say, but I think if we can just let them fire once and then we'll be alright. Okay, save point over here. I like how the save point rooms are like kind of indicated. Uh, looks like our first real boss uh, we're going to try to do in this fight. Or in this episode. Oh. What killed me? Can you not go in the pit? That would make sense, but... Oh my goodness, now there's multiples. Okay, so this is some sort of a, a purple golem guy. We're gonna find out his name right now. Uh, maybe we are. Uh, his name is... I don't know how to pronounce that word, but, uh... 
I've seen that word, but I don't know how to pronounce the word. Actually, you know what? Uh, we are at 25 minutes. That means I'm going to see you guys next time for the Gneiss? I don't know how to pronounce the word. It's G-N-E-I-S-S. -S. It may well be German. Uh, we're going to fight him from episode 2. We made it the first boss. See you guys next time for Battle Kid Mountain of Torment part 2. We're going to fight the first real boss of the game. Later days.